All right, we are back in Call of the Wild. Welcome back to another stream. I was thinking about doing some flying tonight, but I'm just really enjoying this game at the moment. But something completely different for us here on this stream is for the first time ever, we are on my absolute favorite map in this game. This is the South Africa map. It's called Varonga Savannah. I have absolutely no idea what that means or if it's even a real world. I uh, think it is something. What the hell are you doing? Anyway, I think it is probably a real world, but a uh, word, but I have no idea what it means. So, I figured we would just do a bit of exploring. I'm kind of doing uh, what I call hardcore mode, where, as you can see, we've got no HUD. All the tracks are off, so we're going to have to find animals on our own, not by tracking. We're going to have to just, you know, kind of go to the areas where I know there are going to be animals and find them manually I suppose without any tracking or any help and then if we do manage to shoot something and it runs off that is what we have Petrus for who is freaking out into the poles of this tent. This tent is actually really interesting because um, the tents that we stayed in at the, the Kruger camp are like pretty much exactly like this. They've they've got these exact connections for the, the sheet that goes over the tent where they have these little poles or like, like wooden wooden poles, I guess, that are anchored into the ground with these little, you know, um, metal metal poles then bolted into them. And inside, they are, they've always got some sort of little, this is a much nicer table and chairs out here than, you, than we normally have. And a uh, bed, they've got a, a desk, which is interesting. Oh, I can interact with the desk. Or is that just the door? It's just the door. Right, so what I normally do... Let's just go out early in the morning so we can have the maximum amount of time. That actually might be a little bit too early. However, I have never actually tested this out, which is something I have now, is the night vision scope. So I've never actually tried this. Let's just do it on the 243. I mean, standing here in the light. It's not entirely dark. Okay, so that is actually pretty cool. I can see how that would be relatively useful at night. Anyway, I'm not going to be hunting in the dark for too long, so let's ditch that. And let's get cracking. So where are we going to go? This area in the middle here, which I guess is called Usha. Central Savannah. This, we're going to find, this, this is where all the lions are, so that might be fairly interesting. However, the lions are pretty uh, OP. Oh, I see the comments. The, the 404 is here. Once again, the comments aren't coming up on my computer, but they are my iPad. Thanks, YouTube. Let me actually see if I can fix that. So, what's up to Darren? Kelly's here too. There we go. It's working now. Thank you for tuning in. We're checking out the Africa map. This is super cool. Uh, feels like we're playing The Sims in first person. Okay, well, let me actually go out and do exploring instead of showing you the architecture of the game. How about that? So we're heading into the area. What I'm doing is every now and then with some of the updates, it resets your map. So you can see I haven't unlocked all of the outposts and the little like interest points or whatever they call them. So I like to just travel around unlocking these as we go. I did have them all at one stage, but one of the updates, it's it's reset all of that. So now normally I would have my headlamp on. Mspark call. Cool. Normally I'd have my headlamp on because obviously without that, you can't see any tracks, but we aren't going to see tracks anyway. So I actually find it easier to mission out without this on, just in case we can spot any animals. So, animals we have to watch out for in this area is obviously the lions. There is an interesting uh, interaction that I found the other day with the dogs and predators. So, I was on... Petrus is right there. He's, he's just behind us. He's, he's never been to Africa. It's Petrus's first time in Africa. So, he's having loads of fun looking around and uh, getting to know this uh, new country. So... The dogs will actually growl if there are predators nearby. And I was hunting in the, the Yukon with the wolves. And 
Petrus obviously, being a dog, picks up when there's wolves nearby very quickly. Uh, way before I would know that they were around. And uh, he would start growling, which would... So I'm, I'm wondering if he's going to do the same thing with lions. I'm, I'm guessing... I'm guessing it, it will work like that, because it would only make sense. But actually, the most dangerous animal on this map is the buffalo. You're not really going to get them in this central area. It's too open here. In these more dense areas near to the water, all of those bits where there's green will find buffalo. Those are actually the most dangerous. Lions, unless you get really close to them and spook them, they generally just run away before you even know they're around. But the buffalo... Uh, they like to just kill you, really. You must watch out for the honey badger. Yeah, luckily there are no... <laughs> there are no badgers on this map. That would be pretty interesting, though. Right, so this is actually... I mean, I started playing this game probably five, six years ago. And this little patch of bush here is where I started this was where i shot my very very first animal in this game it was a springbuck and shot it with this weapon here the 243 so um the 404 has something cool coming up in the next couple of weeks if we can get it to work so i'm not going to give anything more away i'm just saying if you haven't already go and subscribe to the 404 we've got something cool call of the wild related coming up well, it's planned. Uh, if we can get it to work, uh, this game isn't always the most stable. But uh, that's all I'm going to say. But I am uh, bringing out the 243 because I haven't used this gun <laughs> for about literally since the beginning. So it's probably been four or five years since I've actually used this. But uh, our plan requires me to be able to, to shoot things accurately with the 243. So that's why we've got this this gun out on this map today. Petrus, relax. So, on the Africa map, I didn't panic. We have Springbok, Warthogs, Hemsbok, Lesser Kudu. So here in South Africa, we're actually, we're used to seeing where Petrus is just leveling up. Um, what level are you now? 14, so at 15 we get another trait, okay. Maybe I should say well done for leveling up, or you're just going to run away. So, uh, here in South Africa, we're actually used to seeing the greater kudu. This is the lesser kudu, which I believe exists more, you know, towards Central Africa, I believe. However, this map is actually based in South Africa. Anyway, so we have lesser kudu, we've got Cape Buffalo, we've obviously got lions, and I feel like I'm missing something... Uh, wildebeest. So we have blue wildebeest on this map. I think that's everything. Oh, no. We also have um, hares. I can't remember. Is it just a southern hare or something like that? And a uh, side striped jackal. So not the black back jackal. It's the side striped is a kind of duller. Why do you keep running into me? Kind of duller looking. The black back jackals got very clear, distinct um, black patches on the back, which is called, which is exactly why they're called black back jackals. The side stripes are kind of more dull, but uh, so that's what we've got on the map. I think that's everything. I do feel like I'm forgetting something else? And there's absolutely nothing in this area which is very unusual so we've been around the little copy let's head down to some of these dams i do actually want to head out um this area has has generally got a lot of kudu in and, and that's the thing that i like about this game is, is i can look at the areas of the map and see you know these wooded areas that's going to have kudu and that's going to have um buffalo there's water around there this is like a marshy area so, uh, not much like swampy area. There's gonna be a. <laughs> There's gonna be buffalo down there, and this you can't really tell from the map, but I know from playing this map a lot that this is kind of a, a denser area in terms of vegetation, and it kind of runs all the way along here. And that's where you find the 
the most. <laughs> the voice could do. I'm laughing because Kaylee's trying to type King Wooly. But you, <laughs> you just type King Woo. So, anyway, I think we should head out. Actually, I, I do want to go into this area. So, let's go and pick up these guys, which is opposite direction. And let's head out there. So, King Woolly is from our last Kruger trip. Um, Woolly's being wildebeest. I actually have no idea who called them that first. It's just something that's been around for a long time. I have no idea why, but anyway. And on our last Kruger trip, the, the wildebeest seemed to be a little confused because most of them that we saw, besides the really big groups, I mean, wildebeest are generally, you know, in large herds, which we'll see on this map. But um, in our last Kruger trip, there would be like one woolly with a whole bunch of impala or a whole bunch of zebra or a whole bunch of giraffe. It's just one wildebeest. Seem they seem to be a bit confused. There was even one with a bunch of geese, like just in the middle of a whole, a whole, uh, what do you call it, a flock of geese, I guess. So that's where King Wooly comes from. Kelly got really annoyed because I went on and on about King Wooly um, and his dominion over all the smaller impala. There's a chemspot. That's a level 4. Chemspock are actually one of the animals that if you're starting this game and you need to earn money, Chemspock are one of the better animals to, to hunt. They're always around the water. There's loads of them. They're normally in big groups like that. And all of them are pretty high level. And even the females have big horns. So um, I've even seen females go up to level 4. I think they're max level 5. It might even be 4. But... You know, even the, the females get you a decent amount of cash. If you set up a hunting stand, um, what do they call those things? Like the tripods? Or or even a blind near to a watering hole where, where the chemspot come to drink off and you can really earn money pretty quickly. Especially if you use like the... Um, the tripod and a crossbow or, or even a compound bow um, obviously that reduces your your hunting pressure so you can sit there and you can shoot quite a lot pretty quickly and uh, earn quite a bit of cash so let's see if we can pick up that level four where are they down there now without the HUD it's difficult to tell which way the wind is blowing uh, unless we have some trees around because there's normally like leaves and dust and things blowing around the tree. Especially the, the song you sang about King Willie, yeah. That doesn't sound like me. Oh, there's a little warthog down there. That's a, that's a level 4 warthog too. Ooh, he's spooked. But that is quite a big hemispot. Those are decent sized horns. What range is that? 216. Now, the other thing we can't tell is our ranging. Except on this map. Because on this map we have the 470, which is particularly made for shooting buffalo. And it has this little indication there, so we can see we z 0 to 100. And I don't know why I didn't update the first time, but now I have a lot of hunting pressure. Yes, because you're bad and you just shoot everything in front of you instead of... Oh, you see, Petrus... I'm not actually going to shoot you. Petrus actually shakes when it starts raining. It's quite cool. So let me... I can actually now 0 using this. So I know that 150 is its max 0 range. So if I swap over now to the Argus scope, it's going to be 0 to 300. So we want a 0 to 150 on the Argus, which will be 100 on this guy, which is the, that's really nice. Is this the 243? No, this is the, I can't remember its full name, it's the British Rifle. So we want to aim a little bit higher, because he was at just over 200, and this will be 0 to 150. And now, this is where we actually get to use uh, Petrus. Right, so we'll go and just pick up this hunting blind, or hunting stand, or whatever they call it, hide or something like that. And then we'll go and get Petrus to follow that uh, level 4 Chemspock and show us where to go. How, ca how, how cool does the sky look? Jeez, I wish I could English. This game really does look awesome. Let's 
when I build this, there we go. Punching structure. I mean, these are very much like the little hides you'd get, you know, in the parks and stuff to sit in. So, Petrus, you stay out there. Hides are not for dogs. Oh, there's a brown camp spot coming through there. That's also a level four. I think uh, we will take opportunities like this that present themselves. Those horns do look quite a bit smaller than the one we shot, though. They're thicker, though, aren't they? So... I'm interested to see the difference. They're all moving. They're all coming back. Not the brightest. He's also a four. So is that one. So that, you can see why you can earn a lot of money with these guys. That was bad. I went for the hard shot, but I don't think I got it. I should get a long move. How do I get out? Right, let's uh let's charge across there and put Petrus to work. I can reload this rifle. I think it has three or four shots this one. I can't actually remember. You haven't let me know how you want me to perform it though. What are we performing? Oh, Kelly's birthday song. Ah. I think Kelly's birthday song, song should be performed on the bagpipes. That's my personal opinion. Oh, and sung like Captain Knopi. Okay. That's going to be interesting. Here's a lesser kudu. A uh, core, obviously. I haven't actually seen it. But they're pretty shy. Uh, just like they are in real life. Uh, so tough to see. What is that running around there? Is it the Hemswalk on smart, Jay? Okay, so somewhere around on this side where we shot the first one. You can see they've been running through here. So let's uh, see if Petrus can pick up a track. Holy moly, I think he has. <laughs> Alright, it is. Oh, there we go. It is generally advisable to run around with the 470 just in case we get charged by a line. If we get charged by a line, you've got one shot to end it instantly or you, you die. Buffalo, they charge, but you can kind of sidestep if you're quick enough. Lions, however, are just so fast. Super excited for Captain Knopi rendition. Okay, that is going to be something else. Petrus, what an absolute. To check him out. Well done, boy. High five. Nice. Wow, you just pushed us out of the way. Okay, so let's check this out. So it is a gold. Well, we were shot quite a bit higher than I thought. 200 meters. Hmm. Yes, okay, calm down, Petrus. Please. You're scaring everything away. So here's a gold. Okay, you need to find the second one now. Stop making a noise and do your job. Is it got something up? No. That's bad. Oh, we did shoot the other one away. Was it these bushes here? I think it might have been this bush way over on this side. They're all in there though. No, it was these bushes on this side. So I think we need to go uh, just across here. See if Petrus can pick up some more tracks. See, they all ran through here. You can see the disturbed grass. So it was just coming out of the bushes here somewhere. So let's see if he can pick it up now. Oh yeah, he's found something. Nice. See, th this would be totally impossible if you didn't have the dog to hunt like this with the. Uh, there he's picked it up. With the. Uh, all of the kind of game elements, the HUD and the particles and all of that, you can't hunt. I tried before to make it realistic and do hardcore mode, but if you shoot something and you don't see where it drops, it's impossible because, you know, all you need is one of these little blood patches to be in a, behind a bush somewhere and uh, you, you just never find it. Why have you stopped? Did it not die? I don't think it died. So it was a very low bleed rate and it's still 50 to 75 percent. Petrus has stopped. So I think that second one that we went for the hard shot, said it was a bad shot. I thought I got at least a single line, but it's uh, mm -hmm. it looks like it didn't actually go down because Petrus has given up tracking. Anyway, let's uh, stop running around and 
keep exploring. So we do want to keep heading north. Let's go and pick up this, whatever this is. So we heard Kudu around in the area. They were behind us though. But it is starting to rain. Um, we obviously have the Genspark in the area. We didn't get that second one. That was the brown one. And we had Wartog in the area. So let's see what else we can find out here. I'll try not to get a fright. The thunder, I think it's actually louder on this map than the others. I don't know why. Look at that. Ooh, lighting. Oh, it's the Baybab tree. Um, because the last time I was playing this map, I legit got like a proper fright. But literally jumped in my chair on the thunder. So I'm going to try not to do that on stream. But it will be entertaining. That must be one of the lodges. You can see the flag. Lodge, outpost, you know what I mean. I want to actually read the story about the Baobab because in the Kruger Park, uh, they have the most southerly Baobab in Africa. I mean, I guess it would be in the world. I don't, I don't get Baobabs anywhere else but Africa. And we tried to go there last time we were there in... When were we there? Was it January? February? Oh, it was uh, beginning of March. Uh, we tried to go there, but the road was closed because of all the rain, so we didn't actually get to see the Baobab. Uh, huge trees. Um, they produce... Okay, so just a little bit of history about the Baobab. <laughs> they do look upside down, that's really cool. Um, there's actually somewhere in the world, there's a restaurant inside a Baobab tree. Because as they get older, I mean, and this is a monster, they start to hollow out inside. And I can't remember where, but some, oh, there's some sort of glowing thing. What is this? Got some sort of collectible item. Okay. Um, there's actually a, a bear bab that's hollowed out, and there's like a little. I don't know if it's a restaurant or like a little like place where you can sit and drink coffee with like a few people. Oh, there's some springbok. Level three males. Not the biggest. Males are sometimes on their own. Otherwise, there should be a herd somewhere nearby. Is that in the way we are traveling? I think it is. Let's go and pick up that, which is not that way. So let's see if we can get that springbok along the way. Oh, I just lost it. That's more camps. Oh, there he is. Doesn't look that big, to be honest. Tetris, are you? Tetris! Stop dicking around. I don't think you can actually lose the dogs because I I told Petrus to sit the other night while I was uh, I went to go check something I was gonna come back so I left him and when you get far enough away I think they just come back to you so why does that just jump to 500 meters okay, so when that spring work is 150 meters out we can uh, go to the 243, about there. Let's take a shot. So let's just make sure we zeroed to our middle zero, which is 100 on this gun. And we don't want to shoot it with this big one. One, two, four, three. I think I might have done that a little high. Okay, so let's just uh, get Pedras to that point, and then we'll get him to do his thing. I hope that wasn't too high. It was a little bit higher than I wanted to actually shoot. I think it was... He was just in front of this green grass here somewhere. Hey, he leveled up his tracker skill. Okay, he's picked up something. There we go. Okay, no, that was a, a vital shot. That's the big... <laughs> That's right, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, it's not bad, silver. Was a, a little high and forward, but we did get along the. Okay, Petrus. You done good, boy. Let's make sure he's happy. And then we'll walk up this road here. Now, to those of you, let's, let's get rid of this stupid marker because it's ruining the emotion. But to those of you who've been to like the Kruger Park or one of the reserves uh, when it's rained, like it did a lot the last time we were there, this road, the way the road gets wet like that and you have the little puddles, this looks just like it's straight out of one of the parks. It's really, really well done. You've got some tire tracks and everything. It's super cool. And this looks like Pretorius Corp. Hey, Kelly. <laughs> With the long grass on either side where you just cannot see anything. So, in the beginning of the year, so it was end of, end of Feb, beginning of March, we were in Kruger, and they just had tons of rain with all the uh, tropical cyclone, or whatever, that's a lie. Um, or whatever they call a tropical depression that came through Mozambique, and that just had tons and tons of rain in the park. And so, it happened just before we were there. Everything was so overgrown, and the Pretorius Corp area looked just like this. We couldn't see anything. We saw very little game in the area, because, just because the vegetation was so long. So, I'm a little bit worried about lions in the area. Petrus, you... Oh, there she is. Isn't growling much, he's quite far off. I think she knows we're here. And she's very small, I don't think there's any point really. The only thing is, lines are very tough, so if you don't shoot it really well, the track will days. But look, okay, I see where it went down. Okay, this is must have made Petra sad. Well, he must just be a goodie. It's very demanding. Oh, shoot, he's growling. Are you are you growling at the one I just shot, or is there another one here? Petra, don't do these kinds of things. Why are you like this? You know, I'm worried. I don't know if they growl at ones that are that have been shot. Don't. I mean, they very well could be another one. Oh, so another thing about this map, well, for any of you who know anything about lions, they're pride animals, so they're always in groups. But they aren't in this game, and the story is... I think he's growling at this one. The story is from the missions that these were like nomadic lions or something that wandered their way back into the park. Still... Oh, he's still growling. So they don't... they're not part of a pride, they kind of just wandered in on the road, so that's why we don't see the lions in big prides, which would just be OP. Like the wolves, um, because the wolves are smaller, they're easier to shoot. When the wolf pack kind of gangs up on you, you do sort of have a chance. If it was like a pride of lions, you just, you, you wouldn't have a chance, because even against one, if, if it goes for you, and you don't notice it quick enough, it's, it's just one shot to you. Petrus can never be sad. Petrus loves Hunter Salt. Not sure. I love Petrus. Petrus is a beast. He's a legend. He, he keeps me safe. He saved me from wolves a few times. He's not he's trying to save me from a dead lion. It's all good. Petrus is a beast. It does look like Victoria's Corp. It's so difficult to see animals. Remember the elephant that charged while I was trying. <laughs> yeah. I let Kelly do a bit of driving because we hadn't seen anything and literally around the next corner was a massive elephant running up the road, so... And she had never driven that car before, so... Yeah, lots of fun. I mean, I feel like that's the standard rule, though. When I first started driving in the park and, like, I'd take over for my dad or whatever, that's always what would happen. There would be an elephant right there. Okay, I want to go and pick up this point at this intersection and see what this is. It just, he's sniffing a lot. I mean, I guess that's the whole point of him. But I, I 
don't know if he's picking anything up. Obviously, we don't have the HUD, so we can't actually know what Petrus is feeling. So maybe we should just make him happy. Yeah, get your head off the ground. He's, he's not 100% happy. See, he's only got one heart, so we need to cheer him up a bit. Very demanding. Feeling bad or not? I have to do this again. Okay, no, it's happening. Yeah, let's go. Ahead. So we do have some tracks here. Let's see what they are. Spot. So I'm trying to see how often you can actually spot tracks without uh, without actually identifying. So they're just seeing them. I had some really clear wolf tracks the other day. We can actually see the paw prints in like an open patch like this, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I don't remember, I wasn't there. Soz. Am I heading the right direction? Yeah, we want to hit the road and then head east. And then at that intersection where all three roads meet, some sort of a uh, point of interest. So whereabouts are we on the map? We're still in the middle, so this is all Lion Springbok area. As we head up here, kind of once we cross the road, we start picking up more Kudu, probably Wildebeest as well on that side. I think the Wildebeest are kind of just everywhere. One thing that has, is probably one of the most difficult animals to find is a high level jackal. These are big patches here. There we go, there's some tracks. So that's most likely, that's quite big, so I'd say that's Kamsbach. Oh, it's Kudu, okay, so actually a little bit smaller than Kamsbach. So Kudu in this area, which makes sense, there's, a, there's quite a lot of bush here, it's nice and long. That Kudu is heading in the opposite direction to us, so I don't believe we're gonna find that one. But, um, can you imagine Aaron having to reverse as quickly as the elephant charges? I don't know. I don't always trust Darren's driving after that day we nearly ran over the same person twice. What was I talking about? Petrus. Concentrate. So... Yeah, this area is also going to be Springbok. Oh, the Jackal. Finding the Jackals is incredibly difficult. They're very... They're very small, first of all. They're smaller than Petrus. All those tracks are in the road. See, now, why can't I see any tracks here? I could see those other ones in the grass. Oh, there they are. That's also could do Yeah, going this way. All right. That's interesting. But um, the jackal are small, they camouflage very well with the, any of the, the grass that's not green. So in this kind of stuff, obviously this is really long. There could be one just other side Petrus there, we wouldn't know. There's more tracks, that's... Okay, that's the female kudu, so the, there's a group of kudu heading down, down this road. Um, but any of the, the brown grass... You really struggle to see the jackal because they're so small. And also because they're predators, they're very alert. So they they pick you up way before you know they're there. Oh wow, I can hear the lion. It just isn't growling, so it's not too close, I don't think. What is that shining over there? Some sort of building. Definitely did hear like a lion snorting or snarling or something. That, oh, is a jackal track. Ah, so we know they're in the area. Small female. Mm. Tracks are really hard to see. Just. 
very old. Okay, so they were here a long time. There's the lion up ahead. Big male? The six. Okay, he's spotted us. Yeah, that's the thing with the lions. They're so aware. All the predators are like that. So, so, and the jackals are too, so... That's why it's so tough to find them. See, now, if a lion spots you at that distance, they're gonna run away. Uh, if you kind of start them when you're closer, they might just go for you. Right, so this little area says memories of 2010. So 2010 here in South Africa was the Soccer World Cup. This, I remember from the story, it said something to do with the Soccer World Cup. In here? Oh, you can actually rest here. There's the calendar that says 2010. Oh, there's a Vuvuzela. Oh yeah, the originals were made of wood horn. Right, so that's what that little point of interest is. To do. Oh yes, the Vuvuzela here. Doesn't, doesn't look blue anymore. Can't pick it up. Okay, so that's what that little point of interest is. Just a. Talking about the 2010 Soccer World Cup. Right, let's head up this way <laughs> towards where the lion was. Although that lion will most likely have run pretty far. So hopefully we don't get killed. So Darren, I'm doing some practice with the 243. Hope you are too. The first time I hunted on this map with Darren, I warned him about the buffalo, and he didn't really believe me. Oh, there's a spring bar right there. Didn't believe me <laughs> until we came around the corner in one of the um, kind of thicker foresty areas, <laughs> and a buffalo came charging out of the bush. And killed us. Oh, that's a kudu. Tiny female kudu. But they're normally in small groups. It's weird, these spring are all by themselves. Okay, it is a male, so it's not entirely um, unrealistic. Could you should be in a, in a small group. You'll probably find there's a couple more in the thick bush there somewhere. That's Gemsbok tracks. Yeah, what tracks are these? I can't see under the grass. Could you tracks? The last thing I want to do is go into that grass because I'm never going to see anything. And that's exactly when I'll get jumped by a line. That kudu is nervous. I mean, look at that. We're 300 meters off. And that kudu is already aware of our presence. The other thing it could be is lion. More hands pop track. The, the lion will actually. They'll chase animals like the kudu and the springbok. I don't know if they actually kill them. Although I'm convinced that on Park Fernando, which is the South American map, I'm convinced that a puma stole one of my red deer kills right in front of me. Because I shot a red deer and it kind of ran over a crest. And then just as I was following it, I saw a puma run over there, and when I got over the crest, the puma was running away, and the red deer, there was no body, just disappeared, and I followed the blood trail, and the blood trail just stopped, so, and there were no tracks, 
I don't know if that's a thing, but I've always been convinced that that Puma ate my red deer, just like in one go. So I've never seen what's on tracks. I've never seen the animals or the lions actually kill an animal. They do chase them though, and they will spook them. So it is fairly annoying when you're lining up like a long range shot on like a springbok or something. Find a big springbok. That one's a level three, it's not enormous. And then all of a sudden it just runs away and you're like, but I didn't, I didn't even move. And then you see, oh, there's, a, there's a, just a lion in the area. I had that once at one of these little, like, watering holes. Um, I waited for a long time for a big uh, curry to come in. And just as I was about to take a shot, Everything just scattered. There were loads of spring work and everything around. Everything just scattered and there was a, a, a small female lion coming down to drink up the watering hole. So ruined everything. Ooh, there's some kind of swag across there. No, I'm not a huge fan of the Hemswalk in this game. They're just, they're just everywhere. So many of them, and I feel like they're just too dumb. Like we saw earlier, we saw earlier, like you shoot, and a minute later they all come walking back to the same spot. I don't think they'd do that for real. So not my favorite animals. I think my favorite is actually not even on this map, even though this is my favorite map by a long way. There's a, that is a pretty. Big brown hemsport. We're gonna try and get that one. My favorite is actually the red deer. I've always really like the red deer. Oh, I missed the little thing we were supposed to. It's just a hunting stand. Not too worried about that. We want to be heading to this area though. See if we can just stay parallel to that guy here. If we can pick up that brown kudu, oh, not kudu, that brown hemsport again. Petrus, you just sound like an animal walking in the grass. And then you freak me out. I think what I what I'll probably do is is maybe just do like a full day. So we'll, we'll kind of stream until it gets dark in the game. Those warthogs know about us, for sure. That's the other thing. I wonder if the dog makes you more noticeable. It it should. I don't know if it actually works like that. Oh, there goes that guy. Okay, he's... He's spazzing out. Odd. Some more. That's a three. Where did the brown one go? There he is. So it's at 220. What are we zeroed for? 50. 150. So that would zero us to uh, 150 meters on this rifle. It's gonna go behind the bush. Which is. What is he doing? There's something there. There's nothing there, dude. Chill. Now I can't remember where that guy went. Maybe it was the grey one. Oh, there he is. Nineteen. Yeah, let's hope that, that was good because otherwise we we're gonna track this thing for months. If it's a warthog, it isn't sounding great and needs to see a doctor. It's a warning call, so it's It's like, it's not happy because it knows we were around. Right. Now, Petrus 
Doesn't do so well on steep hills, we've proven. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of Warthog. Holy moly. Oh, there. Oh, I found the fence box. What? And there's even more there. That is the biggest group of Warthog I've ever seen. Oh, wow, there's more. What? No, it's <laughs> something broken. <laughs> there's not supposed to be that many. What is happening? I wonder if that's a bug. There's so many. I've never seen that. I don't think I've seen that many Warthog, like, IRL. And there's no big ones in there that I can see. Okay, that was a great shot. It just barely went. Where did your other leg go? Oh, it's just clipping through you. Also gold, so it, didn't, it is bigger than the other one we shot, but didn't quite make a uh, diamond. It's pretty close. What's going on with like the water? It just is just broken over there. We always ignore him for a bit. Damn, I'm shooting so well that we're not using Petrus. Petrus can die to Warthog if you're not careful. I mean, they have to attack you a lot. It is possible. She's got massive tusks for a level 1 female. This is heavy broken. Not a great angle, is it? Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> I think something has gone wrong. Those are like really big tusks for a level one. That's not supposed to be a level one. I, I've never seen it, a female war target with tusks like that. So. I think there might be a glitch with Warthogs, because there, there shouldn't be that many, like I've never, I think the biggest group of Warthog I've seen is probably like 6, and there must have been like 20 or 25 here in this, this one area, I think they're in like 3 separate groups, but still, it was insane, and that, that definitely wasn't level 1 tusks. Okay, so that Warthog came in very close, so I have a feeling that the wind is blowing behind us, I mean like kind of into into our face, which otherwise she would have, she would have smelt uh, us and gone the other way, so hunting this way that we're going now is actually a good idea, I think, based on the wind, I mean I did see some floating stuff, the wind looks like it's going straight down there towards the water, which I guess, here comes another water, it's a level 3 male, Let's, let's grab that one as well, and see what those tusks look like. Those tusks are massive. Okay, maybe they've made a change to the Warthog tusks since the last time I've actually looked at a Warthog. Those look way bigger. That was a little high. Not the best shot. Need to get a little bit better at that. Shooting consistently slightly higher. Damn, that thing is running. Hmm, that's bad. And that was a pretty high level. But I'm curious to see the size of those tusks. Maybe they've made a change because I thought that female had really big tusks, but that male, those tusks were like really curly. Okay. You see, it's because with that camp spark, I said how good I was at shooting. So now, because I'm bad, Petrus is going to be put to work. Goes.
Oh, small, small blood drops. So, yeah, I did shoot it too high. I probably hit it like in the in the spine or something. Didn't get any vital organs. That's a water running over there. But this becomes an issue when Petrus charges off into the bush. I hear you. Where are you? There you are. Do you find it, or are you just barking because I'm too far? Ah, oh, did it stop? Oh, jeez, he's carried on tracking this way. So, oh, I think the one that ran past us was <laughs> was it. It is still alive. Yep, it was. What a potato. Okay, he's stopped. Did you find it? No, oh, it's still going. That must be it up there. Oh, I've been running, so I can't steady my shot. Yes, I'm coming. Okay, it is probably going to die though, because it's on 25% health. I'm Petrus, I'm doing better than you, Patty. So it went up here somewhere. I don't see any more blood. Petrus is probably not going to come up here because it's steep. And he doesn't like climbing. Which is a bit of an issue. That, that grass is uh, floating. It looks like <laughs> my Planet Zoo efforts. Oof, which way did it go now? Petrus! I don't think he's going to come up here because it's too steep. Now I have no idea which way it went when it went up here. Not an issue. I mean, if it's gone in there, I'm going to find it. The only issue is it was really low, so I have a feeling it. it I think it's gone down. We could actually just... Oh, there, there you are, you baddie. Go find it. He didn't find anything. See, it has, it has gone down. I think. Hmm. Mind you, we shot the hemspark and the female warthog. So maybe that's what that hunting pressure is from. I don't know if it's actually from. The I don't know if that's actually from this male warthog that we were tracking. Petrus can't find anything up here. So maybe... Maybe it actually didn't go down. I didn't think the shot was that bad. It was 25% health. You found something? Oh, jeez. It's just charged off the armor. Yeah, here's the, that was the last one that we found. He is. So it seems like the trail kind of gets up here. Maybe they fixed that because he wouldn't go up the hill last time. Maybe they've, uh, oh, maybe the trail kind of ends up here. Is he going to stop now, or is he going to keep going? Because when I told him to search up here, he didn't find anything. But he's going. See, I really did think, I mean, this is exactly where I went. I really did think that the warthog would go down. This is exactly where I went. Didn't pick up any trail up here, so what is he trailing now? It's 25% health. I really thought it would go down.
He's still going, but he's going really slowly, and I haven't seen any more blood. I think it's still alive. It's like, just barely. But he's still tracking. This is quite <laughs> strange. Okay, he's going slowly. He's just tired. What on earth is he doing? Oh no. Yep, there was a bug that people were saying where the dogs walk in slow motion. Okay, he's being normal again, so maybe it's not that bug. Which they were supposed to have fixed in the last patch. And I haven't seen it. That looked like it might have been it, but he seems fine now, so maybe it wasn't. How is he tracking it though? There's no blood. I thought they weren't supposed to track. Unless there was a blood trail to follow. I mean, it must be still alive. There's no blood. There's no blood trail. But it's moving. So, I mean, we, we should find it. If. Petrus is going to keep following it like this. We'll find it. Eventually. That's not, so it's close. That's a hem spark. That's the freshest tracks that we can find. Was it just now? Which is funny because just now in South Africa means <laughs> you're going to wait. Okay, let's see if we can spot him gone down into this area. Right, welcome to the stream where we spend three hours following a warthog, which is actually not even going to be a massive score because I shot it like a pleb. I don't actually know how Petrus is still following the trail because... Uh, I thought they were only able to track them while they were bleeding, which this water clearly isn't. But he's doing it. So Boss Cat wears on, on the sandwich maker. What? What is wrong with your cat? Oh, crap, where did Petrus go? What's a sandwich maker? I don't even know what that is. Okay, fresh track. Petrus is going. He's still he's still tracking it. I didn't think this was how the docks were supposed to work. I mean, if he keeps following it, we'll eventually find it when we can see it. Another warthog up in that area. I mean, we can't, we can't trust any of the calls because there are like ten thousand warthog around here. We're gonna have to just follow Petrus and hope that he leads us to it in a place where we can eventually see it. I mean, this bush is so thick. Oh, that sandwich maker. Why? Obviously letting you know she's upset because you abandoned her for four days. Okay, so Petrus is not turned this way. So if I run, is he going to pick up the pace? Yeah, he is. I need to catch up to this. And this, this water is going to take us all the way back. <laughs> We've been go. We shot it up here somewhere and we ran all the way up here and around. And it's going to take us all the way back down. To this watering hole, watch. I need to see the damn thing. Petrus is on the trail. I don't think this is how the dogs are supposed to work, but uh, we'll take it, I guess.
Nah, it was probably boss boss. Your cat. <laughs> wow, this is a uh, one of the longest tracking episodes I've ever done. It just has gone slow. I think he's getting tired. Some of the droppings here. It's a ham spot. It's not what we're going for. Petrus, have you gotten confused? Don't, please don't do the slow motion bug thing. I really don't need that right now. We just have one stream where this game works from start to end. I think he might actually just be like super tired. Look at him. Something's running around. Up there. Oh, Now this is the area that they were in to start off with, so it makes sense that they're all going to be around here. They kind of just did a loop and came back to where they started. I don't want to stand up because I have a feeling they're just on the other side here. And I'm going to scare them all. I can't see anything in this grass though. There's one. There's a whole bunch down there. That's a female, so that's not the one we're looking for. That's also a female. One thing I don't like about this game is that there's no... You can't do quiet walking while standing up. You have to crouch, so now I can't see anything because I'm crouching to walk slowly and quietly. But I mean, in real life, you can sneak along standing up. Okay, so there was a group in here. Petrus is still on the trail. I wonder if you, he gets XP based on how far he tracks, or is it just like each time he tracks he gets XP? Because if he gets XP from tracking this, he must get a ton. Those all, what are those? Oh, this must be a water drinking area. There we go. God, he's so confused. That's another male warthog crawling up that way, that could be what we're looking for, but Petrus is just going off in this direction. Something running up there. It looked like it was like bounding, so I think it was a kudu. I don't think that was a warthog. They don't bound like that. Okay, those are fresh dropping, so we're still pretty close on its trail. A feeling. Uh, it just knows that we're here. It just kind of spooking ahead of us in the brush before we, we can see them. Uh, my cat did not shit on the bed. That was your cat. He's going this way. It sounds pretty tired, Petrus. This is the hardest he's ever had to work. Off of this damn water. It's like this bush. <laughs> Are we ever gonna find this thing at this rate? I hope he's getting XP for all of this, but I would have thought if he was, he would have leveled up again by now. 
Your cats are the ones that are out of control. Mine are the chilled ones. Finally given up. I think he's just tired. I don't think it's the slow mo bug. Petrus is struggling. You need to get that fitness up, Petrus. Better. Very fresh. So a little bit further ahead of us now. Now there's more tracks and droppings there, so he is in a group. Petrus, honestly, I just cannot deal with you being so slow. Get your head in the game. Warthog droppings. Having said that, I do actually need Petrus to know which way to go. Going up this way. Oh, jeez. As long as they're in this long grass, we have no chance. I don't even know if it's just the same. Oh, I've lost him again. Just have to hope for the best. Let's see where he comes out on this side. Oh, if that Warthog changed direction in there, we may have just lost the trail. I cannot see Petrus anywhere. Did he come out? Oh god, now Petrus is lost. Oh, he's barking, but I can't tell which direction it's in. He was straight behind us because it didn't sound... Oh, there he is. Oh, do you go back onto the trail or do you give up now because he went too far away? I think he's given up. Oh no, I think that's it. I think we lost the war dog. Yeah, Petrus is not tracking anymore. Yeah, he's not going to find that trail because there isn't actually any blood. So he shouldn't have been tracking it that whole time anyway. Right, well, that's a half an hour of my life I'll never get back. Okay, let's uh, see if we can find something else. So what have we not seen? We haven't seen, obviously, Jackal, but we, they were in that area. I definitely saw something running over there. What was that? Probably a Warthog. But, uh... There it is. Warthog. We... So we've seen Lion. We we got a female line. We saw a male, but it ran off too quickly. We haven't seen Jackal. We, we know they're around. Seen Kudu. We haven't seen Buffalo and Wildebeest. What is that orange symbol? That's just my marker that I've set. So you can put a marker on the map. Just to help you navigate to a specific point. So that's just showing me... Um, the direction to my little marker that I placed so I know I'm going the right way. So we haven't seen Buffalo, Wildebeest, Jackal, any of the rabbits. They're not rabbits, they're hares. Scrub hares, that's what they are. What did I say southern here? Scrub hares, but they're all the, the scrub hares are all up in this area near the mountain and on this side which there isn't anything else besides scrub hares and jackal up there. And mostly scrub hairs. This is there's some jackal. 
That's actually probably one of the better places to find jackal, I would think. I hardly ever hunt up there because it's just hares everywhere. There's, not, there's no honey badgers on this map, so the chances of seeing a honey badger are zero. I feel like we're missing something else that we haven't seen. Just buffalo, jackal, wildebeest. Oh, and the hairs we haven't seen here. Jeez, that echo is intense. Yeah, it must know we're around. The chances of us. Mind you, I guess we're pretty dumb in this game, so maybe we will see it. Yeah, as you can see, uh, we're getting further up into this area. This is where the bush starts getting thicker. What about sloths? There are no sloths in Africa, so definitely not going to see those. Ooh, what's that? Is that kudu or is that springbok? Yeah, never mind. <coughs> what do I know? Oh, this is, this bush is like my favorite part of the map. It just feels so realistic. And all the walks that I've ever done out in, in game reserves or nature reserves or whatever. This is always what it looks like. And this is where we now start. Maybe we're still too far inland. Oh, this area here. Ndlopfu. Probably not how you say it. But uh, this is where we start running into buffalo. This this area down here. All, and, well, all along there, actually. But now that we start heading into this bush, is that kind of spot. Big. It's a level four. It's not forty-four meters away. I can tell you that. Tell you that much for free. Anti meters. I don't know why I always crouch after I shoot. Okay, well, Petrus, we don't need you for this one, scrub. So I wonder, maybe I should just make Petrus track, even though he's gonna find it like super easily. So he gets the XP. Go, Petrus, go! Services are needed. Path did this thing take? Silver, jeez, I thought it was bigger than that. Level four, only made silver. Okay, interesting. Now you scrub. Stay there. We off to bed. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you for tuning in. See you on the next one. Oh, he's level 15 now. Let's see what we can get. So your dog will howl like a wolf. I feel like that's completely useless. Better at picking up the scent from smaller blood clues. That's definitely the one I'm going for. Petra's leveled up. What a champ. Don't run away. I hate it when you do that. Oh, I'm not going to pat you then. I'll just whistle at you. I can see one right now. Okay. Okay. See you know, now, now, now that's fighting words. Because earlier, I was gonna say, when you were complaining about what that warthog sounds like, I was gonna say, that's what you sound like when you're hungry. 
But I didn't, because I was going to be nice. But now, since you're calling me a sloth, what the hell? That? That's a jackal kill. Is that a dead? Is that a damn water? Okay, so that's a jackal. It's caught a hare. Ah, oh, okay, it's so definitely a jackal in the area. Water. All small females. Small female. Small female. What's that? Small female. Oh my word. Ready? This whole group of warthogs. It's also a female. Definitely done something to the tusks. I don't remember them being this big. It's just. Can you just not? Just relax for a bit. So a female. That must be a male there, come on. Yeah, level three. Should that be the biggest one? Okay. It's not. Okay, so maybe we'll, we'll finally actually get a water. I don't complain when I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like that's a very accurate representation of when you're hungry. Let's go, Petrus. Where is the warthog? It was a big blood splatter, so and it felt like I hit it pretty well. So why are you so slow? Come on! Shouldn't be able to run faster than you. You're a dog. He definitely seems to be a lot better going up and down the hills. No, how does this warthog run so far? Come on! Why have you stopped? Oh, it's here. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's why I didn't hit it in the lungs, I hit it in the stomach. Ah. Okay, so those, they definitely made the tusks bigger, that's for sure. Okay, hold on, Petrus. Don't run away when I'm trying to. I'm trying to reward you, little shit. Petrus is getting better. He's now able to walk even up hills. Which he couldn't do before, so we have to we have to give it to Petrus on that one. He was completely terrified of hills when we first got him, but now he seems to be doing fine. Did I reload my gun? Yes I did. Right, we need to find a jackal. I've wanted a high scoring jackal for a long time. And just so difficult to find. I have found it and, and shot a few jackals. I think I've gotten a gold before, but never a diamond. If we can get it, oh, this grass. Okay. If we can get a diamond jackal, that would be the absolute. Oh, I think I forgot Petrus. There he comes. A diamond jackal would just be the ultimate. And if we can do that on stream. I think though, if we are going to hunt jackal, we'd have to go up into this area. So maybe we'll do that just now. What's the time in the game? We said we'd hunt until the end of the day. It's only 10 o'clock. Maybe we won't do a full day. Well, I think a full day is like four hours. Maybe not. Oh, great. There's our first glitch. <clears throat> well, let's just ignore that. Let's see if it comes back. Oh, that's broken. Is it actually not? It? Yeah, it is 10 o'clock in the game. So we started at five. And it's now 10, so what's that? Five hours. 
and we've been streaming for an hour. So two hours would take us to what, three o'clock. Uh, there's some stuff about the sand. Where we go? That's not going to help us because it's broken. So two two hours of streaming will take us to about three o'clock. So yeah, we can we can do about three hours of stream, I guess. It's probably more like four. That's a hemsburg. Also level four. Just loads of level four hemsburg everywhere. Right. So this is the gorge. Now down that side, you can see it's a lot. Arena. How close are we here to the edge? We don't. This is where all the buffalo are down in this area. So I reckon we go down here, explore some of this stuff. We'll find buffalo down there. And then maybe we head into that top kind of mountainous section and see if we can find some sort of decent sized jackal. Because there are a lot more jackal up there than there are around here. Although we know they are in this area. Because there's only jackal and loads of scrub hair up there, that's why there are so many jackal in that area. It's because of all the scrubbies. We'll go check that out. Is that where I'm supposed to be going? Jeez, I'm going completely the wrong way. So yeah, there definitely are jackal in these other areas. They're just super difficult to find. Nothing up here. I haven't seen any wildebeest, which is also strange. Because there's loads of them on this map, and they're also around in big herds, which you can hear from far away. But I think it's the area that we're in. The wildebeest are more, more in the south. And there are wildebeest up in this area, I'm pretty sure. Like around this lake, I'm sure I've seen like around this like waterhole, I'm sure I've seen them in this area. I don't actually now that I think about it remember seeing any of them around where we are now. So maybe that does make sense. Definitely up more in the south it's full of them. And here more on the western side, I suppose. This is where we found the woodies. Just like in real life. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a rock. Oh, what? Oh, it's a tree. Right, we can build this little structure. What's that? Bush. Right, nothing out this way. No little jaguar walking out. What are you complaining about? Okay, let's head down into this area and find ourselves a buffalo and hopefully not get killed by it. Me bad. That's kudu. Decent sized kudu. I have had. Ooh, what are those? Oh, it's Kemsbok. Kemsbok, even in this area. Mind you, it is still pretty open here. So that's a 266, 277. So that one on the right is a bit bigger. I don't want to shoot those Kemsbok because we've, we've had a few already. I want to try and find a decent sized kudu. There are loads of kudu in this area, and this area here, particularly, I've seen big kudu before. So let's head into that area and see if we can find, because kudu is one of, I think, I've definitely had a diamond kudu. I'm trying to think if I've had a diamond 
of anything else on this map? I don't think so. I may have had a diamond wildebeest. Now that I think about it. But definitely, diamond kudu was the first diamond I got. And that is a decent sized kudu that Petrus is about to chase away. Where did he go? I hope that got some part of his lung because it was a little far back. Did rush that a little bit. Let's hope we didn't just mess up. I don't think that was a diamond. It's probably going to be a gold. The horns, they were decent, but they weren't enormous. There's some buffalo down there. So we're going to definitely head down to that uh, watering hole soon. Let's see if Petrus can pick up this trail, yes. That's a jackal calling, and it knows we're here. There's a group of buffalo down there, those are all females. There's a level 6 male there. We'll definitely go check those guys out. Petrus is complaining because I'm not paying attention to him. Oh, it's not a good shot on that kudu, that's so bad. I wonder if he's found it or if he's just shouting because I'm not following him. Oh, it's still... That's a wildebeest. Female, uh, not to be worried about that. Where did you go, Petrus? Oh, it's hardly even... It's health not going down. I think we might have missed a, a decent size kudu. Oosh, why is he growling? It's a bit concerning. Would he growl at like a buffalo or something? I don't think so. Coming, I'm coming, okay. I mean, are we gonna find this 50% health? hear him it's just hard to tell in this game the direction there's a track damn it if this kudu goes down i think we messed up the a decent size kudu at least i don't think it was a diamond if that had been a diamond kudu that we messed up it would have been really big I don't know if it's even actually gone down. Oh, there it is. So it did draw. Oh man. I don't think that's I don't think that's a diamond. Those horns are fairly small. Silver. Didn't get that. It's a level four. 89 kg. I don't know. I cannot remember the way. The jackal sounded like a fox. Yeah, it does actually a little bit. So it's an 89 kg kudu. There's a spreadsheet online that you can actually use to check what weight animals need to make. To, I mean, for each, uh, like, classification, I guess. You know, silver gold, bronze, etc. I don't know. I think you have to have 90 kgs to make a diamond on a kudu. I can't remember the numbers, to be fair. But I do, for some reason, the back of my mind just says 90 kgs. Which means we just missed it. But I'd actually be happy about that because it was such a bad shot so we didn't get all the points. That's a female. Shouldn't be by itself. I think this way. Okay, we want to go down here on some of these buffalo. I am a little concerned. 
because of this hill on our left here. <clears throat> I'm back from East London. Did you go there willingly? Where are you on leave? Jeez, we on leave for like two weeks. We're actually going to East London in July. Wait, is it July? I think it's... Yeah, it's July, not June. Listen, we have a we have a dog now in Call of the Wild. His name is Petrus, because you weren't here to name him something else. <laughs> Cancel. Is it bad? Okay, to be fair, we're not actually going to East London. We're going to Stutterheim. It's way better. Now, all these buffalo, have they moved? Oh, crap. It's attacking us. See what I mean? Like, the lion, is, I mean, they're literally just running at us. The lions didn't really care. They moved all. See the buffalo? I mean, before we even knew it was there, it's decided. It is spazzing out a bit, but it has decided it wants to attack us. That's a buffalo. If it uh, breaks free of its whatever is happening right now and runs up this way. Wait, is that a lion behind it? Oh god. I'd rather take on the buffalo than the lion. <laughs> Why, how do you not die from that? Okay, I mean, we're not going to get any points for that because we shot it four times. Holy moly. Yep, it's a level six, so we only got bronze. I did warn you about buffaloes. Why are you guys going to start to visit my family? <laughs> you always type lurk and it doesn't do anything on YouTube. Okay, uh, now I'm a little bit stressed because there was a lion around here as well and obviously more buffalo. That was the only male buffalo that we saw and now we don't get any points for that. Because we blasted it four times. But that's what I was meaning about the buffalo, they just... They are super aggressive. Just like someone else. Right, let's go and see what else is around here. At this watering hole. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There's more buffalo moving around through there. Petrus, you scared the life out of me. Where are you? What the hell? Oh, there you are. Okay, so the lion is still there. And it knows where we are. Because it's doing the warning calls. Let's go this way around. We need to pick up... What is that? Just a hunting stand here. Pick that up. And then I think we'll travel across the other side and see if we can find... What the... Uh, see if we can find a jackal. I've seen the buffalo now. We heard a wildebeest. We didn't actually see it though. Now that I think about it. Is that a rock. There's all the spark up on that side. So, some of the talk 
And I was listening to one of the streamers who, who play this game all the time. Was saying that based on the previous kind of release schedule, I guess, for this game, we should be expecting a new map on about June. And a lot of people have been saying it would be really cool to get another Africa map. If they did, it, it would probably be like a, a more jungle based map, because obviously this is very savannah-ish, but more like a northern or central Africa like jungle map. It would be pretty cool. I would just really like to see them add more animals to this map. I mean, I'm surprised that we don't have Impala, because this is like the most common thing that you see in any Southern African bush. What on earth is that? Oh, it's an old buffalo dropping. I thought it was a tortoise. Ooh, that's a, is that a buffalo or a lion? That's a lion. It's only a five. He's just chilling in there. We'll see if we can get a, get a better angle on him. I doubt it, though. He's going to notice us very quickly. Petra's any use? Petra's has been awesome. So we're hunting in hardcore mode with all the tracks and the HUD and everything off. So when we do shoot something, Petra's has been fantastic at helping us find them. We did track a warthog using Petra's for like half an hour and then I messed up and lost the trail because I went too far away from Petra's and he like reset. So that was my fault. What animals are on this map? Yeah, Petrus is now 15. Uh, this is the Africa map. So we've got buffalo, we've got springbok, lions, sidestripe jackal, wildebeest, uh, what else? Hemspok, scrub hares, uh, lesser kudu, and warthog. I think that's all of them. Petrus le <laughs> levels quicker than Warren. I saw on the, the Dota group, it sounds like a, it, sound, it sounds like the comeback is, is happening. We're all, we're all making a return, Dave. Is, are you going to join? That, that is a male buffalo, and that is terrifying. Oh. Well, there are predators. We've got jackal, and we've got lions. There's a buffalo. It's not really the predators I'm worried about, it's the damn buffalo. Pregnant wifey has turned me into DIY death. Okay. That makes sense. I always forget about that. Like you don't have time for for us plebs. You've got like real things to do. Go to is low on the priority list. Although fair enough, I'm not, I haven't played Dota for over a year. But uh, well, I was, it was just interesting because Warren was asking uh, Grumpy to make a return. So it seems like he hasn't been playing either. I thought those guys were all still playing. I mean, are they both going to charge me now? That's the question. How does that not die? I mean, I shot it with an actual bazooka. Now I'm worried. I can't see either of them. And I did only shoot the one, and I thought it would go down fairly quickly. Where did the other one go? And if the first one that we shot isn't dead, and it's just hiding in here. Oh wow, it's not, it's not here. Petrus, don't push me out the way. Do your job. And please don't get killed by the buffalo. Okay, so they went over that side. They even hit it. Why is there no blood? I'm sure it was over here. Oh, there we go. Non-vital. Oh, how? Oh jeez, I just lost Petrus. 
How is that a non-vital hit? I have a fence to finish. So you're making it higher. Oh, because the Jack Russells. Maybe that'll help you with all the neighborhood's cats as well. Uh, one set of cupboards to strip and paint, a chest of drawers as well, and two rooms to paint. That's what I know of. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, didn't shoot this buffalo. I really thought... You know what, it must have hit it in the shoulder. What is that running along there? That's a fence. That buffalo is not happy. Where the hell did Petrus go? Did he just go up that way? Oh. I don't think we're gonna get full score for this. Because yeah, you see we didn't hit a vital. No, it's not enormous though. Average size. Okay, we did build that little hunting structure. So I think we take a trip over to this side of the map and head up here. We can unlock this outpost. Find some uh, jackal. There'll be buffalo in this area to start off with as well. Took the stuff off the walls, so the cats are now free. <laughs> Although I do miss the morning meetings <laughs> from Socks, <laughs> the neighborhood cat. That's pretty funny though, but you put up all that stuff to keep the cats out, and it just made them get trapped in your garden. Oh, what's this little structure on this side? It's like a little bathroom. Oh, Void, you can actually open this way. <laughs> right, let's head up towards this outpost and unlock this guy. This is the Fever Tree Forest, as you see there's definitely buffalo in this area and we should see all the beasts down here as well once we get up onto the mountain we'll have wait did, did i bring the tutu uh what did i bring i've got the 223 i don't have anything to shoot rabbits with Ugh, not rabbits they're hares I need to actually swap something out here Going up into this area, we're going to see loads. Why did I just click on that? Right, what have I got with me that we can leave behind? Nothing really. The 223 is for the jackal. I might have to leave behind this guy. Yeah, I'm going to have to leave that behind. We'll use the 303 if we do come across any buffalo that we need to go for it's going to be a little bit risky if they charge us because but we do need the the 2-2 two -two for hairs there's nothing else we can use to shoot those uh what am i looking for 2-2 two -two i think is up at the top somewhere there's 2-2-3 two -two Oh wait, do I already have it in my inventory? Yeah, I do, that's why I can't find it. I hope that's Petrus moving around making those noises, because if it's not... You're worried. Stop pushing me! Honestly, this dog. Okay, let's shift all of these guys up and make space. That's fine. 2-2 two -two ammo. Petrus is still pushing me around. Honestly. Yeah, so if 5 should be our 2-2, two -two, that looks right. Perfect. I need to add my namesake onto this map. 
Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. I'd rather take on the buffalo than a badger, to be fair. Or the lion. I really hope they add some new animals to this map. Everyone's been asking for elephant. Ah, I think that'd be a bit meh. Like, I doubt they would add things like rhino or leopard or anything like that. Because generally they stay away from like endangered species and stuff like that. Especially with rhino poaching, I don't think they will add that. Are there lions? Yes, there are lions. We actually, we shot a female lion earlier. We've seen two male lions, but they're really, really, um, they're very aware. They, they notice you long before you even know they're there, so... Two males were too quick, we couldn't actually get a shot on them. And also I do tend to stay pretty far away from the lions because they one shot your giraffe hunting. That'll also be a bit strange. I don't know, I'm trying to think of what else I'd really like them to add. I wish they would add the greater kudu. I don't know why they chose the lesser kudu. They're obviously Lesser, they're smaller, they're not as like majestic or impressive as the greater kudu that we are used to here in South Africa, obviously. Where's Petrus? What are you doing? So that would be cool. I'm trying to think what else. Like something like Eland would be really cool. Giraffes are so quick. Yeah, no, I know. I've seen... I've seen giraffe... I've not necessarily been charged, but I've seen them running when we were doing a, a walk once. It's not... Uh, like, you you don't see giraffe as particularly scary, but when there's one kind of like running towards you, it's not fun. I will 100% confirm. I thought they would have had Impala before Springbuck, although I suppose Springbuck are a little bit more interesting than, than Impala. I was surprised that there were no Impala on the on the map just because of how common they actually are on the reserves. Something like Blessbuck or... I don't know, Sable Antelope... I don't know if that's something that you really hunt too much because they're pretty rare. Rowan Antelope even more so. I was surprised as well that they added lions. But yeah, I don't think they'll add elephants. That doesn't really seem to fit. Because elephants like would have to be like the buffalo in big herds, and I feel like it'd just be super OP. We need a special weapon as well. I don't know. It would be cool to have elephants on the map. I don't think I'd actually hunt them. The other thing I've always wanted them to add is, yeah, there are Springbok. We saw a couple earlier. I've always wondered why there's no birds. Like, not even, they don't even have to be, like, huntable. But, like, the other, uh, like, Hirschfelden and Leighton Lakes that have birds that just fly around, like eagles and... I don't know what else they've got. Like, small birds, I can't really see what they are. But even if they just had birds like flying around, it would be so much better for the immersion. Obviously, you can hear birds all the time. But just to see them flying around, even if they aren't huntable. Snakes? No, there's no snakes. That would be cool as well, even if you can't shoot them. Well, the birds on the other maps that fly, you can shoot them. They just kind of drop out of the sky. You don't get any points or anything for them. Like, they could do that kind of thing on the other maps and... Had things like snakes and stuff. 
think you start getting more into like a survival type game if you add snakes and have the potential to get bitten and stuff like that. It would be really cool. But I feel like they've always said that that the whole survival aspect is outside of the scope of what they want to do with the game. So I don't think we'd see that element. But it would be cool just to see snakes like moving around and stuff. That would be awesome. I'd really like to see birds though, because the bird life in in our reserves here in South Africa is is incredible. So even just to have them flying around all the time would be awesome. That's a buffalo. We don't really want to play with buffalo since we don't have the 470 anymore. I mean, the 303, I'd probably have to get a hot shot to take down a buffalo. Any kind of reasonable speed. Those are all buffalo tracks. I just the fun. Where is this buffalo? Hopefully, I mean it did do a warning call, so I think it is aware of us. Hopefully it just moved off up the hill. So here, oh there's one there. Yeah, it is running away. I don't think that was the one we heard, because that had quite wide horns. I think that might have actually been a male. The problem is the buffalo are always in herds, so if there's one, there's going to be more around. There's always buffalo here in the fever tree forest. There should be wildebeest down this side as well. And normally wherever the buffalo are, there's warthog around. They like the same sort of habitat. That's a brown color. So there is a herd in the area, they're moving off that way, maybe we should go down this way a little bit more. Don't really want to get into a tangle with a herd of buffalo when I don't have a weapon that's particularly made for shooting buffalo. Are there baboons and zebra? Oh, zebra is another one I didn't think of, that would also be cool. No, there's neither of those things. Baboons would also probably be awesome. I don't know if they would add those to actually hunt. But zebra, surely, there should have been zebra. There's a group of buffalo eating on the road. That's interesting. Two relatively small females. So those ones that were running, I think were... That's another one there. So we've got <laughs> a big herd of buffalo all around us by the, scene, by the looks of things. Where did you go? As long as they're running away from us and not too stressed. Is that, is that red one? So what I really want to find is a high level jackal. Baboons are commonly hunted, even just to deter as pests. Okay, that's actually a very good point. So, in this game, the kind of like pest species, if you could call them that. So like the jackal and the uh, coyotes on the American map. You get a lot more money for shooting those. I don't know if that's how it's actually supposed to be, or if I kind of just made up that reason in my mind. But you do seem to get a little bit more for shooting those, so that could be kind of cool. That's a jackal call. And it is a male. Let's see if we can find this guy. But he's, it's a warning call, which means he already knows we're here. But that could be cool, maybe as part of the missions, you know, have the baboons. Um, yeah, ex exactly that, like causing issues for the, the surrounding farms or whatever and having too many and you'd have to go and, you know, help deal with that. That's definitely something they could add to the mission line. Even. Yeah, I, I didn't think of that aspect. Yeah, so in Mazda, big problem on the farms, 
That would be pretty cool. I think like baboons would be super unique compared to anything else that we've got on any other maps. Because I mean, like if you're adding another zebra or another antelope species, we've got loads of deer and, and things like that. Oh, there's a big group of jackal down there. Two, sure. There's loads. Four females. There's a level four now. Jackal, I think, go all the way up to nine. So those are all small. But now we have seen them, so now you can see what I mean about them being pretty dull. They're not... Oh, that's in more jackal hole down this side. So it looks like we may have another group out this way as well. They're not the blackback jackal, they're a lot duller, they're just kind of brown. These are side striped jackal. Where did they all go? There they go. Just, please relax. I'm off to bed. See you on the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you on the next stream. Uh, those and roy cuts used to be our biggest problem with the goats. Yeah, I remember my uncle on the farm having uh, issues with caracal as well. And otters, actually, with the sheep. In the river, the otters used to come out and zip the lambs. Caracal would be a, a cool little, another kind of small predator to add. And that would be really interesting. Like on the, uh, I wish it's the Russia map, the Siberia map, they've got lynx, which is one of the most difficult things to actually hunt. Because kind of like the jackal, they're very small. They're very alert. However, jackal, I'd say, might actually be a little bit easier because they're in these big groups and they're very vocal. The lynx are normally pretty quiet, and they're normally on their own, so they might actually be even more difficult than the jackal to hunt. But I think, like, adding caracal would be a similar... Jesus. Would be like a similar kind of, uh... mechanic to the, the lynx, I guess. My aunt's cat was snagged by a rokat, and they also lost ridgeback to a leopard. Jeez, like... Yeah, that's pretty hectic. Dolphin's coming down this way. It is a small female. Don't know if I really want to mess around with buffalo. I mean, I could shoot it with the 303. I'm going to have to get a hard shot, which isn't always easy. What are you whining about? Why did you just charge me? Okay, well, really are very demanding. Now, that's pretty hectic. So, I didn't think of that. Caracal would be cool. Zebra definitely sh should be here. I hope they add new animals, because I don't rem remember, what was the last animal that got added? It was the European hares, I think. Got added to the, the Hirschfelden map. And before that, the one that I remember was the lions, actually. This map didn't have lions on when it was first released, and they added those. So I don't know if we would get two animals added to the same map when most of the other maps haven't had anything added to them. Let's see if we can actually hot shot this buffalo. I feel like we're gonna, this is going to be a stuffer. And then we're going to track it for days. But I kind of want to try because it, it is a red one. Oh, there's a jackal behind him. I didn't even notice earlier. Can't see what level this jackal is because the buffalo is in the way. But there was a male jackal calling out in this area. So if that's him, that's also a female jackal. We haven't had a jackal for ages, so maybe we should just take this one. Not with the 243, we need the 223. That should spook the buffalo. Hopefully, she runs the other way and doesn't attack us. No, I, this, the rifle kicked somewhere. I didn't actually see where we hit that jackal. Hopefully, it wasn't bad.
Ja, tschüss. So, it should be up here somewhere. We'll wait for Petrus to catch up and then get him to find it. Hey, he's leveled up his track skill. Okay, so he's straight onto the trail, it seems. Like it's picked up something. Alright, this is a pretty good hit, that. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, so it was a good shot. Silver, small female. It's very dull, these side striped jackals. I thought they would have a little bit more coloration on the sides. Single long shot. I didn't get much cash for that, so maybe they've actually changed that. Cause it did make some significant changes to the scoring system a little while ago. Are there mods to add stuff in? There's no mods, unfortunately. I don't know why, because obviously this game would be really cool with mods. There's loads of DLC that you can buy that adds different weapons. Um, there's no DLC that adds animals. You... Um, any animals that are released you get for free except the ones that obviously that come with each map the maps are released as DLC but there's DLC for different weapons um, things like hunting blinds the ATV is DLC so is the dog but the DLC is really cheap like the dog DLC was 27 Rand so it's really not bad but no there's no mods or anything where you can add different animals or or anything like that. Only the, the DLC that adds weapons and stuff. I'm not too worried about the weapons. We've got enough weapons to you know to cover the entire spectrum. Everything from the the hares all the way up to buffalo and, and moose and stuff. The water buffalo in South on the South America map are actually slightly bigger. They don't have as impressive horns, I don't think. Their horns are, are thinner. The the African buffalo, well the Cape Buffalo have the big boss. Um, on their skulls, so I, I think that's more interesting, but the the water buffalo are actually heavier, they're overall bigger in size um, so we've got enough weapons to cover that, I just want to see more interesting animals, I think that would be really cool, especially on this map just because it's my favourite alright, so we didn't manage to get a jackal we didn't manage to get a big jackal that was a Small female. We haven't even seen a big male, but heading up into this area where we're going now, we're going to start seeing more jackals. Let's we still haven't got a big kudu. We messed up that one. I say we. I messed up that shot earlier. And so I didn't end up getting a decent score for that. So they, they definitely could do in this area. I think as we go further up, yeah, once we kind of cross over the road here, the only thing we're really going to see, I believe, is Jackal and Scrub here. So we'll see if we can. We've gotten a Jackal. We need to get a Scrub here. And then the only thing we haven't got on this map is the, the wildebeest, which is strange because there's, they're probably the most kind of abundant on this map. They're always in huge herds. So we haven't actually seen a wildebeest. We heard one earlier when we were stalking uh, that kudu, or not, not stalking, it was after we actually shot it. We were tracking that, which was, I think, just below diamond weights, but I uh, didn't get a good shot, so we didn't get the full points. We heard of all the beasts in that area, but didn't actually see one. That would be the last animal on the map that we need to see. On, obviously once we've got the scrub here, but there's thousands of them up where we're going now. So, we definitely should find one. There was one area that I found once before on this map where it must have been somewhere on one of these roads here. I think it might have actually been up here. Where there were just, honestly, hundreds of scrub hairs just running all over on all sides. I've never been able to find that spot again. And not 
you know, find the spot with all of those scrub hairs. Just, I remember exactly what it looks like, and I've tried quite a few times to find that place, and I've never actually been able to find it. So maybe this time, what we might actually do is take the quad, because we're not going to see anything in this area, so I might actually take the quad and just go up this way, just to make it a bit quicker. Also, I've never tried the quad with Petrus, so I don't actually use it very often because it makes a lot of noise and scares everything away. But uh, because there's nothing else in this area, it's not too big a deal. So I might just take it just to get us up there a little quicker and see what Petrus does. Where the hell is Petrus? Okay, so he's kind of just going to run behind us, it seems, which is perfect. I can't actually look back far enough to see where he is. But we're going to turn 90 degrees here to the right, so we'll see when we do that if he's still behind us. From what I see, the latest to be added is lions and mallards, but I'm probably wrong. We've got lions on this map, so that was already added. Um, mallards were added to Leighton Lakes. I don't know if they're gonna add. There's no, actually now that you mentioned mallards, there's no like shootable bird species on this map, which all the other maps have. Actually, now that I think, I don't know if all of them have. But like Leighton's got mallards, hirschfelden has got geese, uh, Silveridge Peaks has turkeys, Parque Fernando has cinnamon teals. Yukon has Harlequin ducks. What have I left out? Quattro Colinas. I don't think that has any shootable birds. Yeah, those were added in um, 2019. Yeah, so the lines were added to this map and the islands were added to Leighton Lakes, which is the American map. But uh, a couple of months ago, I think it was actually towards the m late middle of last year they added uh, European rabbits to Hirschfelden and I think they're on is it so no it's not Silver Ridge Peaks it's the New Zealand map the Te Awara whatever it's called um, that's got the, the European rabbits that was a new species as well so that's all so far I think there's just gonna be a new map probably around June ish seems to be when people think there's gonna be a new map I have no idea where the cool thing about about this game Yukon must be quite cool yeah Yukon has wolves um, it's pretty intense they actually especially if you're on the ATV they, they really don't like it the wolves they, they hunt you in packs it's quite scary um, I was actually I was playing on Yukon the other day I didn't stream it though so that sounds cool we can stream that um, another time on the channel the Yukon map I really like it there's some cool stuff on the map on the Yukon map they've got uh, caribou moose wolves bison uh, what else? Oh, oh, there's some... Something else. Oh, they've got the... The Harlequin ducks, which are really cool. And grizzly bears. That's it. I think that's everything. Again, it's a bit weird. I haven't seen any hairs. Oh, there's one running across the road right now. That's more of what I expected. There are a lot of them in this area. We ran off up there somewhere. There was somewhere in this area where I found that, that place that just had thousands of them. This little open area, I don't die here. This little open area here has, 
I remember having quite a lot of hairs in because we go down this little open area to get to that point of interest. There's one there. It's a small one. Is there a South America map? Yes, there is. There's it's called Park Fernando. Um and it's got it's got red deer, puma, uh what else on there? Mule deer. Oof, now I'm going blank on what else is there. Uh, that's got black buck, which are pretty cool. Um, it's got the cinnamon teals, which are interesting. And the water buffalo. I thought water buffalo and black buck were like an Indian thing. I didn't, I didn't think they were in South America. They are on that map. Where did that rabbit go? Keep saying rabbits, they're not rabbits, the hares. No, there's always a lot out in this open area. We've seen two so far, but they've both both run away, it would seem. So the other thing people were asking the other day with the dogs is um are the dogs gonna be able to do anything else? So, basically, there's a game called The Hunter Classic, which is kind of the predecessor to this game. And the devs have always said that everything that's on The Hunter Classic is going to eventually make it into this game. So, in The Hunter Classic, which I've played a little bit, not a lot, they have uh, different types of dogs that do different things. So you can get retrievers, so like, if you shoot a rabbit or a, a duck or something, but I actually go and collect it for you. The one that I'm really keen for, which I hope they add next, because they have said they're going to be different species of dogs added. So the bloodhounds, obviously, for tracking blood trails. Next, I hope they add the pointers, because in the Hunter Classic, you can get the pointer to, you know, find certain things. So... Like, I think one of the most common is looking for, for um, rabbit dens. So you can get the pointer to go out and, and actually look for animals. And obviously they point when they find something rather than tracking blood trails or whatever. So that'll be really cool. Hopefully, what I really wanted was for the dog to to be able to track before you shot the animal. That That would be really, really cool. However... It is actually super useful to have the dog track once you've shot something because playing in like hardcore mode as I as I call it like I'm doing now with with all the assists off, it's impossible if you shoot something without the dog now to find it. This is quite a cool look point. Check this out. <laughs> no base jumping. That's where we came from, down there. Now, I do hate this railing because you can't really see over it. But I do try and jump. You can jump up onto it. But if I mess up over there and we go over, we are super dead. Kelly's gone to bed. This would so freak out. She doesn't like heights. We came from down there somewhere. Let's see if I can spot the... Uh, the little camp. I don't see anything in there. Just like in real life, if you look long enough, we will definitely see some animal down here. Just, we can just see such a vast area. Just have to look really carefully. I'm just not that patient. I don't know how far the actual the animals actually spawn in. I mean, I should at least see something down here, if there is anything on this like little mountain side. I don't know if we're gonna if there's actually any animals on there, but like in there, if 
could have buffalo and down there would definitely have all the beers and stuff but look none of those plants are loading in so i don't know if the animals would actually spawn in that far away down here we should have like kudu and stuff like that it's really surprising that we don't see anything from there but anyway Petrus is looking through the floor which is interesting let's keep going Right, do we have any other points of interest up here that we can pick up? Uh, there's one there. Let's head out towards that. That's way up on the other side there. Somewhere in this area is that hectic place that I found with all the scrub hares and jackals. Right, what's the time in game? Four plus one. So what's planning to do a full day in game? We started at five in the morning. It's now getting close to two o'clock, but it is getting late. Uh, Twenty past ten IRL, so it's not too bad. So we'll we'll keep going. See how far we get. These rabbits. I keep saying rabbit. Oh, on the other map, it is rabbits. That's why I always mess that up. But they haven't come back. So they're at least a bit smarter than the Hemsbok. I do really actually like the 2 2, even though it's the smallest kind of caliber gun. It's got a really cool sound. So we'll see when I can actually find here to shoot at. I don't know, should we walk up there? I think we can do that. We'll leave the ATV. I mean we're not gonna we're not gonna get any animals if we're on the ATV, it's just too loud. Now the jackal and hares are up in this area once you get onto this flat that's why it's called the, the plateau this flat area I don't know if I've actually walked this part oh yes I have there's a bridge there that's part of the story uh, missions so I have been around there before we, we're gonna go up to this point but I want to get up into this flat plot uh, part over here because that's where we're gonna find the the actual hairs and there's supposed to be loads of jackal up here as well i haven't been up into this area of the map for years it's been a long time since i've been up here so we'll see and i haven't seen a lot i remember that little open patch down there where we just came from being just covered in scrub hairs last time oh, it could be we definitely saw two or three around that area and there was some tracks and, and droppings and stuff so they definitely are in that area it just could happen to be that they are not not there right now last time i came up here that was covered in them. right now that it starts to flatten out this is where we keep our eyes open all those little guys
Hey, Petrus is leveled up again. So what's in our 16? I think it's every 5 levels, so it'll be 20, yeah, that he gets a new skill. Dog is naturally more willing to work. Dog has a chance to highlight, yeah, we'll take the more willing to work because we aren't using any of the spotting outlines or anything like that. Why is just come to... Oh, there he is. Oh, okay, still <laughs> no hairs up this area. This is very strange. <clears throat> They're normally all over the place here. I wonder which way the wind is blowing. Okay, it's blowing. From left to right. Why do you always push me down? Really? Okay, if there's nothing here, you know, on this side we should hopefully have more luck. Maybe try and just pick up the pace a little bit, get to that side. I can just just predict that as we do that, we're gonna see as we're running, we're gonna spook a whole bunch. Just a rock. Our best bet to find these guys is actually going to be on or close to the road. Kind of like in real life, you don't have much of a chance. You know, if you're on a game game drive or something. Of spotting them in the bush, they're just too well camouflaged and too low down. You generally see them when they're crossing the road or very close to the road, at least. This is why I don't come up into this part of the map. There's not a lot going on up here. Not much for Petrus to do, especially with hunting scrubbies. Because uh, it doesn't really matter where you hit them, they're going to drop on the spot. So Petrus isn't going to have to do much tracking these guys. The jackals, uh, they can run fairly far if you, if you don't hit any vital organs. There we go, that's a warning call. So they know we're around. Just the other side this little crest here. They're already warning. I don't know if we're actually going to see any. Nice open area there where I would have expected to see them. But if they were warning, they may have just all run off. At least we know they definitely are in the area now. I 
We haven't, they haven't done any more warning, so I guess they all kind of ran off down this way. Probably down, down the mountain on this side. That was one as well. Another rock. See loads of tracks, these are all the scribe here, so they definitely are in this area, which is good. What he's freaking out about, obviously got stuck on something. very quiet part of the map. There's not going to be any bigger animals up this area. is too steep for them to get up. Having said that though, there's a... Well, there's some more warnings. Let's see if we can spot any down here. Uh, in the Kruger Park, up near Pretorius Corp, there's a, like a real big, like, copy. With, like, sheer cliff sides. And uh, the last time we were there, there were two buffalo right at the top. There we go, that's what we're looking for. And I couldn't believe that they were all the way up there. I did later on find out, it seems like there's a road on the other side of the, the copy that goes up to the top that they could have walked along. But literally, they were just on the top of this huge rock on the edge of this sheer cliff, just kind of looking down. So, I guess in real life... Because we do have the road that comes up here, you would find bigger animals coming up here. I just want to wait and see if this guy decides to come out here somewhere. Going to Let's just, just chill there for now. Not seeing anything. Definitely was just down there. Oh, there he is. There we go. More off to that side. <laughs> I still think the tutu has such a cool little sound. It's not particularly impressive. I, I just think it sounds cool. Now, if this is the same one, it was a decent sized male. Okay, so we got silver on that. And he's a chestnut color. Alright, so we've now harvested one of each of every animal, except wildebeest, which is, I said earlier, one of the more common species. So it's weird for that to be the last thing for us to find. Let's go and pick up this point of interest. We'll see. No jackal on this side so far, and no signs of jackal either, so they definitely are out here. I think we'll have to head over to that side and see if we can uh, actually find a decent sized jackal for once. Nice open area. Is there any scrub hairs here? That would be pretty decent. But there isn't.
Yeah, but this is exactly why I don't come to this part of the map very often. There's really not a whole lot up here. I think maybe this isn't the best part of the map to stream. Even if it's probably one of the better places to find Jackal. Maybe we should just complete finding all the animals uh, on the map. So let's pick up this point of interest and I think I'll go down into the area where there's loads of uh, wildebeest. And we'll pick up one of those. So we've completed everything on the stream and then I think we can call it there for the stream. It's been two and a half hours. Oh well, just uh, dropped out of the sky. That was just a small email. But she did just there was one running around there. She did just dropped so nicely in front of us on the path. So chestnut colored, that's interesting. This is quite a cool little lookout point by the looks of thing. This is the, uh, the part of the storyline. This is the ranger's uncle. Okay, so I think we can pass travel down into one of the areas where we can find uh, the beast. I think let's go down to this area because there's a lot of them here and we can go across through the little marsh area here and, and pick up this outpost because I think that's the last outpost that we haven't actually unlocked. So let's do that. We'll place our waypoint there. The game will let me. And let's fast travel down here. Let's see if we can find ourselves a decent sized wildebeest to finish off the stream. And of course I head off in completely the opposite direction to where I actually want to go. So this is the kind of swampy area. We will find buffalo here as well. Definitely all the beasts. And as we get up here into this area, we'll see springbuck as well. And kudu pretty much everywhere where there's dense bush on the map. Those frogs are very loud. Oh. Dude, Petrus is just unmanageable. Okay, let's find some wildebeests. They definitely are in this area. I've uh, hunted them here before. And it's quite possible as we head. Uh, or exactly in the direction we're going in. Pick up that as well. But out in this 
area. Let's go to that one first. There's generally not right where we are now, or out in this area. There's usually a quite a big herd of wildebeest out there. Let's see if we can maybe find those guys. I just realized I didn't actually pick up the 470 again in case we run into buffalo. So if we do run into a herd of buffalo, uh, the 303 is all we have, which is not ideal. But uh, I guess we'll make it work. Right, so I'm just running because generally after you fast travel, Nothing spawns in around you for a little while. So I'm not worried about scaring anything off because I don't think there's going to be much around. Just yet. Let's have a look down here. I seem to remember this area as having buffalo and wildebeest around it. This does look pretty familiar. I think this is actually where Darren and I died to that buffalo the first time. I'm sure we were over on that side and we walked across up here and the buffalo were in this area. Pretty sure that was here. Nothing around here. We keep hitting a... What are we doing? Kind of east? Yeah. see if we can pick up any tracks or droppings just to let us know that they are in the area. I don't see anything. See, that's what I was saying about the birds earlier, because if you listen, you can hear loads of different birds. We've got the doves, there's any files in there, a whole bunch of other things that I'm not 100% sure what they are. But you don't see any birds flying around, which is a bit strange. Oh, there's nothing out here. One of the first wildebeest I ever shot was, was in this area. I remember I used to have like a little hunting blind that I set up over here, overlooking this area. And we came out through here. But I don't see any signs of any around here at the moment. Probably isn't the best area for wildebeest, I am aware. But it is one of my favorite areas. It's really, it looks really cool down here. I think the best area for wildebeest would be up here. But I, I do also want to go and unlock this outpost and stuff. And I know there definitely are wildebeest in the area. Probably not the kind of highest concentration or, you know place where you're most likely to find them, but they definitely are down here. And 
there definitely are buffalo in this area as well. It's just, it feels a bit strange to go for so long without seeing any signs of anything, any animals. I do like this terrain, it really does look nice. It's not super thick brush. We've got the wetlands. Kind of got a little bit of bush, which makes it interesting. not like up in the, the northern part of the reserve where it's just really thick bush. I'm surprised that we haven't found anything yet. But we are quite close to the edge. Going right to the edge, I don't think you see as much. So let's start heading more in towards the center, which is exactly where we have to go to pick up this point of interest anyway. As it starts opening out here, we really should start seeing something. Nothing. We haven't heard any calls, haven't seen any... Oh, there we go. That is a herd of wildebeests. Out that way, down towards the edge of the map. That's very strange. Okay, let's go and pick up this point of interest. And we'll come back down this way. The wind is blowing kind of straight towards them. Bit of an issue. It's blowing that way a little bit, so maybe we'll come from the other side of the, the wetland and see if we can maybe try and end up with the wind blowing behind them. What am I looking for here? Here we have some tracks. All of these. Right, so finally we have signs that they're in the area, but we have obviously just... Heard the herd. Okay, here's a very interesting little opening. Oh, this is the Tetsi Quiet information. Right, so I believe those full of are down that side. <laughs> Which is strange because I just said right next to the edge. They're gonna see less, and they sound like they were behind us. So, literally right on the edge. So let's head down that way and have a look. I don't want to waste too much time going slowly, but I don't want to... I don't want to spook them. I'm kind of heading this way, so we can get the wind going behind instead of straight to the, the herd. Which will allow us to get a bit closer. Yeah, so we are finally picking up signs of them being in the area. Yeah, so I thought I heard them out this direction. There are tracks all over here. There we go. Alright, so then over here. The wind is blowing kind of in that direction. There we go. That's a female. She seems to have pretty big horns for a female. Right, there they are. So let's try and get into a position where we can actually see them properly. Let's see if we can find a decent size male. There's a lot of them in there, so they'll definitely... And it was a male warning. Um, 
because it was just one warning call, the higher level animals are kind of more aware. So I'm expecting him to be fairly high level. Because he was the only one who picked us up. So he's definitely a male in the group. Probably a decent level. I think these guys go up to five. Yeah, they go up to five. Stuck on this tree. Are moving away from us, which is a small issue. They're moving pretty quickly as well. It's just a female. Oh, there we go. Is that a male there? That looks like a pretty big male, actually. He's a five. That's a full. That's a max level. Okay, so we gotta track that guy down and see if we can get him. That's a decent size wildebeest. He had a... The reason why I knew he was big, he got very good looking horns. Okay, so the herd is moving off in that direction. So we're going to follow them. That's a three. And we're going to see... Get them into an open area and pick out that level five. There he is there. I'm not going to get a shot on him from here. He's facing straight away from us. So we're going to have to follow them for a bit. See if I can maybe... Heading into the... Okay, I mean, they really are right on the edge of the map. They've gone straight into that thick bush, which is going to cause a little bit of an issue for us. Maybe if we go out to the edge here where it opens up on the riverbank. Hopefully if they stick to this kind of left hand side here. See them moving through there. If they stick to this left hand side here. And they are on the riverbank. That could open up and help us see them like this. Also gonna help them see us. Yeah, they are. But they are nervous. They're aware of our presence. The question is, are they going to hang around there? Or are they going to move off? They do appear to be moving on. Now the fact that he's level 5, that would definitely have been the one that made the warning call. Means it's not going to be super easy getting close. So we're going to have to do a bit of a, a bit of stalking and following here. But if we could finish off the stream with a diamond wildebeest, I would be super, super stoked. So I think it's worth putting in the effort to actually follow this guy and see if we can catch up. This bush that they're going into is going to be really tough. See, if we caught them out in the open here where we are now, it would have been ideal. But they're already headed up the bank here and into the bush. The other thing is seems like they're on the move so they're going to keep moving in this direction for quite a while they're not going to stop to drink or eat or anything so we're just going to have to keep following them until they do give us an opportunity then the other thing at least with the herd being so big they're relatively easy to follow the only issue with that is when they do actually stop trying to find the one that you're looking for. Not always that easy. I'll just see if I can actually 
see some tracks in the mud here. Let's work out which direction they're going. Well, there's loads of... Okay, there we go. They're now running around. Dust. It is. Or is it just the lie? They never used to make dust when they ran. That would be super cool if they've added that. I think it is. Okay, but they only make a noise like that if they're all running pretty quickly. So. I wonder if they picked us up. Do we have any? Oh, the wind is blowing. Blowing off to that side. So we actually want to keep more to our left here. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in. We are on the tail of a herd of wildebeest with a nice level 5 somewhere in there. And they are currently eluding us. Just wondering if they ran off which direction they went in. See, I, I don't remember this dust being a thing of all of these heard. That must be a, a new thing. Let's see, we have an opening here. Can we actually spot the group? I don't see any of them. They are on the move, hanging around and waiting for them to show themselves isn't going to work. So they're just going to keep going in the direction that they are they were headed in. So I don't know if we can wait around. We kind of just got to follow them. Now, after they ran off like that, I'm not sure which direction they actually went in. I do want to keep to the left here because that's where the wind is blowing. I can stay on this side of them. I'm expecting them to most likely have now turned and gone up that way. I should get rid of this one for now that we're done with that. But I think they might have actually gone up this way. Let's see. We can pick these guys up again. See, I haven't seen any more tracks. I wonder if they didn't go up this way. Although here we are. Right, this is them heading this way, so they they must have come in around this side of the the wetland and now gone out this way, which does kind of make sense. So we'll follow in this direction, see if we can just catch them. There's some droppings. Let's see how recent that is. Okay, yeah, that's them. It's tough to know when they do run like that, how far they've actually gone. You know, whether I can sprint to catch up, or they could be just other side of this hill. They definitely gone up in this direction. This is a timing game though. It's almost four, so the sun's starting to get low. So it looks like we might actually do the full day's hunt on the stream here, because it's going to take us a while to find these guys. would love to actually head up this side so we can look down towards where these guys are but that's where the 
wind is going to catch us out because it's blowing down the mountain like that. So staying on this side is going to be a better, better tactic in terms of the wind, but in terms of seeing stuff, it's really making it difficult. I haven't seen any sign of them now for a while, so we might need to start heading more north here. Or, or, yeah, I'm not sure if they may have turned and gone up. Need more open areas like this where we can actually see the herd moving. Let's take a look and see if we can see them moving up. Across there, anyway, I don't see anything. Talk. They do travel really quickly, so they could easily be up there somewhere. This would be nice to know which direction they've gone in. And this is where hardcore mode is pretty hardcore because if we had the tracks on it would be easy to just follow all the glowing particles it's a level six red buffalo but we don't have nice glowing tracks because we're doing hardcore realistic mode so we're gonna have to figure it out on our own So I think they may have gone up. Tracks we have. Ooh, that's for the visa, and it's heading in that direction. So maybe they didn't go up. Maybe they just carried on going this way. So we'll keep following now that we have those tracks. We don't have the glowing particle tracks, but we can still pick them up and actually just look at the direction they're pointing in. I don't want to walk through this water if it's going to get deep. next thing is just where they've gone to now they, are, they must I would expect by now they've reached their next zone so they should be either lying down somewhere or eating or possibly drinking around one of these watering holes well I don't know if you can count these as watering holes these are like little swampy areas but I think there's a big body of water it's quite far isn't it? I don't know if they would travel that distance to drink. It is possible. We could drink from these areas that we have here. So, However, from those tracks, it does appear that they are still heading in this direction. So, See, there's more tracks. That's the warthog that we saw earlier. So I'm going to keep heading towards the sun. That's the, the direction that they were going in. Check out these open areas.
See, by now I'm expecting it to be pretty far away, so I'm not too stressed about running. What's that? Let's grab his. I don't think we really have a choice. We're going to have to head further north and go up to some higher ground. Let's see if we can spot them. I mean, it's been quite long now. If they were traveling this whole time, they could be anywhere. Strange looking rock. I'll be able to see which direction this is going in, but it's not even the animals we are looking for. Right, hopefully, we can get up to this higher ground. And possibly. Get up here nicely, get a glimpse of the herd moving through somewhere. Nope. Haven't heard any calls from them for a long time either. These are probably the kudu, yeah. So now I'm not sure far they would travel from this area. I'm wondering if they didn't just you know, head up this way or back out that way somewhere. It's really tough. You're kind of just guessing. Could head up there and see if we can spot them somewhere, but that'll only work if they've kind of doubled back. I'm wondering if they didn't head out this way towards maybe this um, body of water. It's water. We haven't seen any tracks for a while. Let's maybe head up this way and see if we can spot anything. I know I've definitely encountered this herd before. But I don't have any of the need zones after my map got reset. What track was that? It's still Kudu moving along here. I'm just wondering now how far they would have actually traveled. I'm thinking that they may have actually well, they may actually be somewhere behind us, and we kind of went past them. But if they were traveling, and they just kept going straight along the bottom of the reserve here, I mean, they could be... They could be anywhere at this point. I think they would have traveled this far. Maybe we should head back this way and see if we can pick up some sign of them. Maybe even just keep running 
So if we do get close enough, they'll possibly all run, and then we can hear kind of which direction they're in. It's also something we could do. Certain. It's a buffalo. There's that other one that we saw earlier. And so we found those guys again. Huge herd of wildebeest. I'm really thinking that they they doubled back on us. Because I know that there's a herd of wildebeest in this area, and I've always encountered them. Jeez, I thought you were a buffalo. I've always encountered them. You know, kind of more in this area. And not down here. So I'm wondering if they didn't just double back on us. Let's head towards this. See if we can pick up anything along the way. I want to stay up this side. Just so we can look down in there and see if we can spot anything. Otherwise, if we go this way and we don't pick anything up, they must have carried on and gone like all the way past the outpost, which is pretty far. I think Petrus is getting upset. These are the buffalo heading this way, yeah. expecting to find them down in this area somewhere. They just turned around and went back past us up on this side. That's a chemsvar, but not what we look for. What I'm thinking is if I just keep running along this ridge here, if they are back down in this area, they should hear us and start moving, which in, in which case we'll hear them moving around. Otherwise, maybe they really did go all the way. Is that Hemsbok or Wildebeest? They really did go all the way past this outpost down into this area. It's not impossible. That is a wildebeest track going this way. Yeah, this is the group. They came back up this side. 
I think they came back up this way. Let's see if we can pick up a few more tracks. Is the buffalo are not happy with us getting too Those are the buffalo tracks. So I reckon they're going to be down there, kind of around where we saw them the first time. Pretty close to us, Buffalo. There he is up there. they're going to be down in this area. Let's go here. Once again, I don't have the 470 on me. I feel like this buffalo is going to charge us at some point if we're just not leaving it alone. Once I get up to this point, I'm going to now head down the hill. So we'll give it space after that, but I feel like at any moment now, it's going to come charging in from that side just because we've been kind of keeping the pressure on it. Where did it go? Somewhere here is this point of interest that we're looking for. There it is there. What I was trying to do is get rid of this. This is the swamp area. Right, let's head down, back down into this area, see if we can find this wildebeest herd before it gets dark. One thing I did do right in the beginning when I first started was hunt and track things at night here, and I ended up getting killed by a buffalo in the dark. determined to find these all the beasts now because I have spent a good amount of time looking for them. I don't know now how good our chances are actually finding them. What's the time in game? It's already half past five, so it is gonna start getting dark. And also I've been streaming for over three hours, so I'm starting to get a bit tired, but we'll see if we can head down into this area and actually find some signs of these guys and figure out where they went.
because once we scrub his the axe, I didn't actually hear anything. If this is getting bleak. So I think we'll give it until it gets dark in the game. If we haven't picked up any real signs of the herd, we might have to leave it there and then come back on another stream and see. Start off right early in the morning, come down into this area and see if we can pick them up. Let's see how it goes. We've got a little bit more time. The sun is really starting to get low now. All of that sun is now gone. That's that Kemswak we saw running across that side. Those are all scrub hair warnings up that way. So we know there's a herd with a big hive in this area. So not too stressed if we don't find it now. We'll come back here possibly tomorrow night on another stream. And come out here early in the morning to this area, see if we can find this group and get that uh, that level 5 wildebeest. Game spot. Because I really think they've moved pretty far out of this area, I'm sure by now. We found the rest zone. So let's see. This is the camp spot there. Oh, it's the camp spot. See, they rest you until 4 o'clock. Right, so I think they were moving out of this rest zone when we picked them up last time. The question is then, where do they go after that? So, if that is the case, then I don't think they doubled back. They probably would have carried on. And it's... That might actually be that... So this is where we picked them up earlier. I think we scared them down, so I, I think they actually just carried on straight. I don't know how far they would go. Yeah, so they were leaving this rest zone when we spooked them earlier. There, there we go. Yeah, so they might be drinking in this area here. So if we can... We can kind of sneak up on them right here. Somehow. You have a chance here. You know. Now, I do remember if you remember back to the beginning of the stream, I've got the night vision scope on me. So, if we do actually end up having to hunt this at night, we can do that. I'm wondering, because they were all here near the water, so I'm hoping that they were drinking, and if we stay quiet, maybe they'll come back into this area? Looks like they've actually run pretty far.
That confirms that they did in fact double back on us somehow. to the bottom again. This is kind of the same area where we picked them up earlier. So I wonder... Let's go all the way to the edge here and see if we pick up any tracks. The only place they could have gone then is behind us. Which is where those tracks are going. I wonder, did they run? Yes, there they come. So they are coming back in. That's a fall. been the last of the herd, so we need to head back in this way. Chris, I think you just stay here. So they are just up here now. That's a small one. That's a bigger one on that side. That's the fall. Yes, this is actually getting fairly tense now. But, where we are now, because we actually ended up on this side, Wind's in actually, is actually in a much better position for us. We can sneak up to them here. They are looking to come back to this area, so I think they're drinking. I think they've come back to this area to drink. Let's see if we can get closer. All we need to do now is find that level 5, which isn't entirely easy in such a, gr uh, in such a big group. We can find the 5. And get a decent shot on him, we are in business. I'm not sure how far across they went. They were. This is where I spotted them. But they were walking to the left. Can't leave Petrus that far away, or he's gonna keep shouting, so he's gonna have to come with. Now. Yeah, they're drinking. Oh, eating, okay. So now. Just need to find the five. As I said before, it's not particularly easy in this situation. We are nice and close now. Okay, they've just finished eating, they're now on the move. But is that their eat time finished? No, they eat from 4 until... I wonder if they heard us? That one looks pretty big. Oh, 
very close. So one wrong move now and they're all gonna spook. Just need to find the level five. That's him. Can't actually get a shot. Kneeling like that. Is it that one there? I can't actually tell which one it is. It's this one, or the one slightly but just standing behind it. It's a three. Oh, it's so tough. That's him there. It's just disappeared off that side. All alert, so... Oh, yeah, I just noticed that. It's gonna be really tough. So I think we'll hang around in this area. Because they were eating around here, so they should come back. Somewhere fairly close. We need better cover than this. Let's just hide here. Back this way. When they're all kind of clumped around together like that in the herd, it's so difficult to tell which one is which. So maybe if we wait a bit and they come back into this area, we can possibly pick them out while they're still moving. I mean, I know this isn't the best example, but now you can see how the whole herd thing is a, a good strategy against predators, because you just can't pick out an individual in the group, even in a game like this. It's so difficult to just tell which one was the, the big one that we were looking for. So I think they're going to come back to this area. We might have to wait a little bit depending on how far they ran, but I think they'll come back somewhere, if not to the same spot, they'll come back somewhere close. And hopefully we can find that level 5 while they're moving, as opposed to trying to pick them out. just want to get rid of this examine trick. Come on, that's in my way here. That's I don't know if we're actually cover there again. It's starting to get dark, but uh, hopefully they'll come back to this area somewhere. If they would go across that open area, that would be incredible. Maybe we should just move up a bit, because I don't know if they're going to come back to this exact spot. Let's start getting a bit closer. Start getting stuck on the trees. Oh, 
hope they come out into this open area here. That'll be first prize. Maybe we head down to these bushes on this side. Sit there, see if they come through this open area. And we can actually spot that level five. There they come. Or oh, they stop there. Yeah, I think they've stopped there. Yeah, so we're gonna have to try sneaking up on them again, which is not easy. So they're not eating in that area, they're not. They're not moving back. I think, yeah, spotting that one is going to be super. And even getting a shot through here is just going to be impossible. That's a three. He's alert though. So they are pretty wary when I'm in the area. It's just a three. So the five must be somewhere in that. There he is. Lying down, where did he go? The dark one is a three. Ah, see, he was walking right to the back there. Four threes. That's him there. Ninety four meters. So do we risk it and go for the hot shot? I think we kind of have to at this point. Oh, let's hope after all that we didn't mess it up. I don't think we got a good shot on him. Should have been a little bit more patient, I think. Yeah, it's just a small. No organs. Wow, what a baddie. I'm not sure he's even gonna go down. gone down. Right, we let the pressure get to us. It's getting dark, it's getting late. I reckon we'll have to set up in this area to actually come back 
and and look for this herd again. I don't think he's actually gonna go down. A high level like that it was a really bad shot if it was saying no organs hit. I don't know, I must have been I think he just put his head down as I shot. So I wonder if maybe it like hit him in the nose instead of uh, I mean I had to go for the hard shot because he was facing straight towards us. So I wonder if he did look like he just put his head down as we went for the shot. Maybe he just hit him in the nose. And so we didn't actually get any organs. So he's not going to go down. He'll be fine. Petrus is still following him. It's not going down. Let's see if we can find another blood track. It looks like they may have actually run out already. This is just following his normal tracks now. Okay, there's blood. Is he still 50%? Yeah, I reckon he's gonna be fine. Feed rate's very low. He's not gonna go down. Oh well. Oh, but he's still bleeding though. It's still 50%. We'll track until the, the blood trail stops. Just in case he does. Ah, oh, I've lost the interest. He's down to 25% health. It would actually be better if he didn't go down. Because then we've got the opportunity to come back and find him again in another stream. Because, I mean, we're definitely not getting the, the diamond score now with that shot. It does look like the blood has stopped. I think, yeah, Petrus is just tracking his normal, his normal trail now. So I think he is fine. Yeah, there's nothing. Alright, let's head back to our camp. And we will come back again soon. And see if we can find him. He's not going to go down. So our camp is just here. Oh well, we tracked that, that guy for so long. And I really have a feeling that he's he's gonna be high scoring and hopefully a diamond. And I mean we let the pressure get to me. It was getting dark, been streaming for almost four hours straight. It's just a bit impatient on that shot, and I think what happened was he was putting his head down just as we shot, and I think it may have hit him in the nose. And that's what happened. So that's pretty unfortunate, but um, at least we know 
that there is a herd of wildebeest in this area. And I think we'll come back and, and do some work on this herd. We'll take out some of the... I don't know how much the map gets stretched towards the edge of, um, of the screen. We'll come in and do some work on this herd. Take out some of the smaller males as well. So that uh, we have chances of them respawning. As... Um, higher level animals. I can't close the door. It doesn't work. Right, but I think that's it for the stream. We'll definitely be back here to find that herd again. Uh, pity about that last shot. That could have been a fantastic way to end off the stream. Hope that's Petrus running around out there. Definitely should close the door. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all the support. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and notification uh, so that you get a notification when I go live. Thanks, Dave. Always appreciate the support. Yeah, no, that was a bad shot. I was a bit hasty. I should have been a bit more patient, but I'm getting tired. <laughs> but we'll come back. Um, I should be able to stream again tomorrow night, be it without a camera, but um, I can still play. So we can come back and, and find that herd again. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys again soon in the next one.